Hey everyone, Shell here, and for this episode of Nights of Harmony Analysis, we're going to be talking about possibly the only members of my team that seem like they just do YouTube convention vlogs and will be out of place in my team to certain viewers like you. But the way they the way they play dress up actually gives the characters more of a personality and is one of the reasons why the members of my team, despite the fact that I never went to the specific conventions that they attended back in the 2010s before 2019 ended their favorite convention. If that long semi tyrant wasn't obvious enough, today I'll be talking about Crackle's cousin cosplay performers at the BronyCon Grand Galbang Gala. Rest in peace, BronyCon. So, yeah, as you well bring this up, at first I had no idea who these guys were at first, which they most of us, but eventually I got into the cool YouTube vlogs and videos and even Grand Gala and Gala videos from the days of BronyCon. And interestingly enough, they actually did prove pretty interesting and I like the way they perform in their videos so much, I made them over as my team. Of course, as for what they did at BronyCon, most of it was just dress up by certain characters on My Little Pony sometimes. While also doing a few panels like Ask a Villain, Ask a Pony, Ask an Apple, one of the more biggest accomplishments was the Grand Galvan Gala at Bronic On. And for a time, they actually did do pretty well during the days of French Magic. But sadly, in 2019, as French Magic was coming to a close, Bronic On was also about to come to an end. As such, they went all out of the final Grand Goblin Gala, which surprisingly had quite a few moments, and by coincidence, I did do at least one crossover of the final Grand Goblin Gala performance. And it's fair enough, it had quite a few moments, but some of the other Grand Goblin Gala performances had some more interesting themes. Like, for instance, in 2018, they did a movie theme for the Grand Gaming Gala, which involved Juno Montage and the Pony of Shadows as antagonist slash villains, while Rusko and Twilight, who was being persuaded by the Pony of Shadows in a sort of Star Wars way. <coughs> and there were quite a few movie references. Rainbow Dash becoming Indiana Jones, Applejack becoming the Matrix, Pinkie Pie going from an Avenger to Harry Potter, to Pinky and Rainbow Dash becoming Top Gun pilots, and of course, Fluttershy ended up in a movie musical, never than Anastasia. Then of course, Shannon and McKinnon show up doing one of the Frozen songs, Love is an Open Door. Of course, by 2019, the final Grand Gavin Gala performance was more Anything Goes made it easier for them to really go all out. Even during the big final song moment where they not where they not only performed with the song, but also had plenty of recordings of people who came to came to BronyCon in the past to really add to the effect. And of course at the end of the Grand Gavin Gala, they do a special picture moment. And eventually they do a well, all star performance so to speak. Without any music. Of course, it's all done by Red Card, who's one of the many bronies who actually does most of these kind of vlogs. 
along with some of his friends who showed up a few times in those vlogs. And of course, that's it. It's pretty much like I talked about for the Scott Just Token Cosplay Lonely Con performance, so to speak. So, if you want to check out any of the vlogs, all the videos, or anything, just type in Lonely Con or Grand Amandala, and I think you'll find a lot of things that you can Scott Just Token Cosplay videos on YouTube. So, until next video, stay safe, my boys.